Good morning, everyone. Farmer Mike here, and welcome back to New Beginnings, episode 15. I have a big day ahead of me. Uh, there is a lot to do and a lot to get done. My wife has been busy as well. She's uh, at work right now. Uh, so she's been working part-time at Tractor Supply and going to college full-time. So she's been just as busy as me. But uh, today's goals is I need to go to the gravel pit, get the backhoe, and go scoop up those rocks that I got out of the field, the potato field, uh, load them onto the dump truck and haul them up to the gravel pit. I also want to uh, go look into leasing or renting some equipment to do some haying with. And uh, I also have some more stuff I want to do at the uh, at the property there where we're building our new house. Uh, I want to start getting more done on that. So, uh, like I said, a busy, busy day ahead. So, I guess uh, we should probably get started. <laughs> So we're up to the gravel pit. I'm gonna go fire up the backhoe. Take that down to the potato field. I already called the wife to see if she could run up to the potato field, pick me up, bring me back to the gravel pit so that I can uh, get the dump truck and take that down to the potato field. I definitely need to look into uh, getting some extra help because there's a lot going on, and it's starting to become difficult to do all this by myself. So I definitely got to start looking into uh, hiring some help, which is my, uh, which has been my plan for a while. I'm just trying to get some stuff done without hiring anybody. I'm trying to get as much done as I can without hiring anybody, but it's uh, starting to become uh, difficult. Uh, the wife is very busy doing what she's got going on, and uh, so it's hard for her to help me. But so she'll be up here on her break uh, to pick me up and take me back to the gravel pit. So the wife just called me, and she said she's going. She's going to take break early so that she can run up here, pick me up, and take me to the gravel pit. Uh, so she should be here any minute. Uh, the potato field isn't far from town or where she works. Oh, there she is. Oh, where's she going? Going the wrong way. Over here! Oh, there she comes. Alright. So she's going to take me up to the gravel pit and... I will see you all up there. So the wife just dropped me off at the gravel pit and she's headed back to uh, work. That Bronco is a beast, I'm not going to lie. So, I'm going to fire up the, uh, the Mac here. I love this dump truck. I love the sounds of it. I mean, it's older, but it runs, still runs good. I've got a place in my heart for Max, I guess. And whoever had it before me took good care of it. Nice and clean in here. I did a lot of clean into this equipment when I bought it, after I bought it, rather. Uh, I like to have uh, my equipment nice and shiny. I mean, the outside is going to get dirty, but I, I definitely like to keep the, in, 
inside the interior nice and clean. Well, let's head on up to the potato field and get those rocks picked up. And uh, then we're going to go see if we can acquire some uh, equipment to hay with. Alright, so... I got several spots where those rocks are piled. Kind of hard to see in the grass. I mean, they're not big piles, but... I want to get them out of here, so they're not in the way. Got one pile there. Another pile here. Another pile here. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think the last episode after I get done planting the uh, potato seed, it got dark, so I wasn't able to show you all the field, so... It's uh, a long ways from being ready to be harvested, but it's in the ground and doing its thing. Later down the road, I'll have to put a another application of fertilizer on there. Alright, make the long run back to the backhoe. Get this. Get these rocks cleaned up. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a lot of work getting that field done by myself. Well, this shouldn't take too too long. All right, there's one pile. I will say that the oh, the bucket uh, tilting the bucket's a little bit on the slow side. It's not a really old backhoe, but it's definitely seen better days. That's why I think I got the deal I got on it was. Uh, because it wasn't in the greatest of shape, but it was runnable. be a whole lot left here. I think that will be last scoop. Park this 
over here out of the way. It's going to have to stay over here for now. Take that. Rock up to the uh, gravel pit. And then go to town and see about getting some equipment to do some hay. So I will see you all up to the gravel pit. All right, so I'm going to dump the rocks here next to the rock crusher so that I can get the rocks all crushed up. See about getting some equipment for haying. I will see you all down to the dealership. All right, so good news. We just get done talking to the guys in the dealership, and well. I am going to be leasing all of the equipment that I'm going to be needing for haying. All except the actual mower deck. It's a bat <clears throat> it's gonna it's a bat wing mower deck. It will fit my tractor. And they had a used one at a reasonable price. So I purchased the Batwing mower deck. There's Sierra. Like, where is everybody? You're never home. So I purchased the Batwing mower deck. It was it's used, uh, and it was uh, at a decent price. So I bought that, and the rest of the equipment, the the rake. And the baler I'm going to be renting. So, I paid extra for delivery. So, they're going to be delivering my mower deck and the rented baler and rake. And within the next hour, that should all be arriving, and we can get started on uh, getting some grass cut. All right, they just got done delivering some of the stuff that I'll need for haying. Uh, they just left a few minutes ago. So we have the Batwing mower deck that I bought. I'm renting this tether. I'm renting this baler, and I'm renting this wind rower. I haven't come up with a game plan yet on what I'm going to do for getting the hay bales uh, loaded up and hauled away to sell. So my plan is get the hay uh, baled up and sold. I'm not sitting on any of it or storing any of it. Uh, we don't have any farm animals yet, so I just want to make the extra money on getting the hay made and sold. So. We're going to go and start getting some grass cut. So I'm probably going to start cutting the grass around the potato field first. Get that all nice and cut.
though I am loving this mower day. It's just the perfect size for this tractor so that I'm able to move right along without being bogged down. It's cutting nicely. It, it forms to, I guess, the contour of the ground, ditches and whatnot. Uh, yeah, it's uh, working really good. There is a lot of field. I'm a little bit worried on the length of grass uh, further away from the potato field, like right close to the potato field, I was able to generate enough cut grass that I'll be able to turn into hay, bale it up. But I noticed if I got too far away from the potato field, it wasn't leaving a lot of cut grass behind. So I'm a little worried because I'm kind of depending on getting more than that amount uh, cut and baled. So I'm going to have to do some scouting around my property to see uh, if there's enough grass in other fields or further out in this field that I'm able that I'm going to be able to uh, cut and use for hay or not. So hopefully, fingers crossed. But right now I'm going to run up to the 
to the uh, property where, our, where we are building our house because I wanted to get a few things done up there. And while I'm up there, I'll show you all some of the progress that uh, I believe has been made since the last time I had you all up there. So, we're coming along nicely up here. Still a lot left to do, but like I said, when you're by yourself doing this, it takes time. A lot of time. Grass is starting to slowly grow back where we dug the well and septic. I'm not 100% sure where we're going with the garage yet, or anything else. Uh, you're probably thinking, well, that's a lot of... That's a lot of driveway, like, a lot, you know, it is, but it's going to be utilized quite a bit with other things. Uh, we may even, you know, I, I hauled a lot of this gravel in here and whatnot, but we get a lot of stuff coming in here uh, for the businesses and whatnot. Uh, not all business related stuff will be up here, but... Uh, Quite a few things will be, and we may we may uh, decide to put some lawn in the middle of this area, fill it out a little bit. But uh, we're going to utilize the majority of it, so it looks kind of blank and empty, a little awkward. But uh, when it's all said and done, it's going to come together. It's going to come together nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and start working back on the house, and so I can get some more stuff done with that and uh, I think the next project is uh, get back down to the field and get the get what I cut raked up uh, use the tether and the wind rower and get it bailed up I gotta look around too to see if there's enough grass in some of my other fields if not then I guess it is what it is but Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of New Beginnings. Uh, I hope I hope you all come back for all of the other episodes that have yet to that have yet to come. Uh, so as always, feel free to share, like, subscribe, join the Discord if you want. Hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care.